Welcome once again to Super Truther. This is Adam speaking. Today's exciting episode, we're going to be exploring the possibility of Noah's Ark. We all know the story of Noah's Ark, even if you are uh, agnostic or atheist. It's this guy right here, here's the picture. He's got all this, these animals, and he fit them all on this tiny little boat. And we have some other depictions as well, three stories and everything like that. So this is the uh, story from Genesis. Then the Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every intent of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And the Lord was sorry that he had made man on the earth, and he was grieved in his heart. So the Lord said, I will destroy man, whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and and beasts, creeping things, and birds of the air, for I am sorry that I have made them. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. It goes on to say why he found grace, because he was good. The earth was filled with violence, and he's telling him that he needs to build an ark to save everybody. And I'll, I won't uh, go through all this. Uh, the link is below. You can read it yourself. But it gives the dimensions and cubits, which was the ancient... Uh, length which was about 18 inches when you look for uh, Noah's Ark and you, you'll end up with Snopes and they'll say nope never found it never found it uh, here's a picture of the possible beams on the structure that was found this is all linked below you know Noah's Ark has been discovered this is also linked below the the length uh, according to my understanding it matches the the width it seems like the boat has collapsed uh, outwardly like flopped out so the width is a little off but like I showed you before there are beams in this in the structure somewhere this is another article this is by one of the main main discoverers of it they they go very in depth about why it can't be on Mount Ararat etc yeah this is very in depth I'm not gonna read it all this is just to give you a um, an idea so here's the structure right here from here to here all right so we're gonna measure this sucker from here to here so we have uh 146.3 meters which would translate roughly 300 cubits and that's a very rough estimate in my mind okay let's do another one you can see how it kind of flopped out here and here kind of flopped out i imagine this was all pretty nice at one time okay so we're at 30 meters, which is roughly about 60 cubits. I wonder if it matches up with what the Bible said. 300 cubits, okay. And 50 cubits, and the width of 50 cubits. Oh, all right. And the height about 30 cubits. So like I said earlier, a cubit is about 18 inches. If you can measure from the average man's elbow to the tip of his fingers, that is according to what I have heard. I've got no proof. All right, so back to Google Earth. So we're just going to show you where it is in the world. So here it is. Now, unfortunately, here I'll, sh I'll show you. Unfortunately, you used to be able to drop down in places, especially here. This is actually the Noah's Ark Visiting Center. They don't call it that. They call it something in Arabic. Now, I don't know what they call it because nothing is labeled anymore. This site has been immobilized by Google. whoop de doo And you can't even get a, a sense of the thing in 3D. But that's it. And you can't drop down on it. All right, so where is it in the world? There it is right there. Okay, so where's Mount Ararat? Aha! This is Big Mount Ararat, and here's Little Mount Ararat. Um, and it landed in the mountains of Ararat, so in this region. And hopefully we can find it again. Jeez, I shouldn't have zoomed out. Uh, there. Alright, so... If we are to believe that this is Noah's Ark, we have an existential problem because here's proof of the Ark. And you can read the articles, like I said. 
But here's proof of the arc. And um, let me just go into my notes here. And this is from Hebrews 11.1. 1. And this is, the, this is the problem. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. So really, we can't really have faith in the ark anymore, although it is substantial. We cannot have faith in the ark anymore because there is evidence of the thing. So, haha, <laughs> take that. But it's still, I, I suppose it takes faith to believe in the Bible and all that. Please like, subscribe, but what do you think? Do you think that's the ark? Here, let's look at it again. Think that's the ark? I don't know, look over the information, come up with your own conclusions. Uh, super truther out.